vamos a pasar a una actualización de la compañía Car2Go que estuvo por acá en Miami eh, haciendo un anuncio sobre sus operaciones y la expansión aquí en Estados Unidos. Hi Marco, uh, from uh, Car2Go from Austin, Texas. Uh, what are you doing here in Miami? Today I'm here in Miami to um, announce um, we're having an anniversary party and open house event to celebrate um, Cargo Miami's great numbers. We have 16,000 members and uh, 240 vehicles around the city. Uh, and 16,000 members in just one year. I mean, that's like more than a thousand a month if you would have the math that way, right? Yeah, it's really taking off here and we're having great reception. I think um, people are really enjoying the fact that you can take the cars to the beach now. We have satellite locations and parking lots and I've just been seeing them all around the town. It's yeah, yeah, me too. And actually, not only me, I have some visitors from Chile last month here in Miami. Um, they notice the cars on the street and they ask about it and I explain the concept and they loved it. But they were asking if they anybody who comes from Miami from another country can like be part of the program. Absolutely. All you would need to do is contact the city that you're um, going to be visiting and, or Cartago, the city, Cartago office of each city that you're visiting and um, they will ask you to provide a driving record and um, they'll send you the card that can be used once you're visiting. So for example, if someone comes uh, from vacation here to Miami, uh, they, they contact the office, they do the arrangement and all that. And where's the car? The car is going to be at a, uh, some location that they can pick it up? Yes, yeah, so the cars will be within a 25 square mile home area that we have here in Miami and they can look on their app if they have a smartphone, download our free car to go app and within that app it'll show you each vehicle, how much fuel it has, if it's clean inside and outside and you can reserve it for a 30 minute window so you have time to get to it. That's great. And uh, besides uh, Miami, you are in uh, many other cities. I mean, the, the company started in Austin. Well, it started in Europe, in, in Germany, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, with the Dymo Group, and then expanded. And now in the U U.S., North America, how many cities do you have? We're in 10 cities in North America. We re just opened this year um, in Denver about two months ago. And um, within, I guess, North America, we're in Austin, Denver, San Diego, Portland, Seattle, um, Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary. Washington DC and Miami, yeah, yeah. so we're having a wonderful time. <laughs> that, that's great. And, and again, please, uh, for the, the people who are not very familiar with the system, how does it work? Okay, so it's a point-to-point -point car sharing. It's by the minute, so you swipe into a vehicle with a membership card that we issue to you. Um, you have a four-digit PIN code that you enter into the vehicle so that we can verify you are the correct driver. And then you're just charged by the minute. It's 38 cents a minute. You can take it anywhere, even outside of the 25 square mile home area. Um, but to begin and the trip, you must uh, be within that home area. And then, um, so if you drive for five minutes, you're charged for five minutes. And we've well, discounted hourly. But there's, a, there's an initial fee, a membership fee or something mm -hmm. like that? It's a one-time uh, $35 fee. And um, that gets you the membership card and fuel parking, maintenance, insurance are all included in that. How does the well. fuel part work? Because if I'm, let's say we're here in Miami and I work, uh, I, I go, I drive to Boca Raton, which is 50 miles up and down. I mean, the smart gives great mileage, mm -hmm. but still, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, <laughs> so gonna use, use some gas. gas, right? So how does that work? And you're responsible to, to fill it up again? or how Oh, no, work? you're not. Um, so we, we have a fleet team in place in every city and they monitor each car and how much fuel is in it. There is a fuel card in each car as well so if you would like to fuel it up um you just there's some pin numbers within the i guess navigation screen that you yeah. would be able to use um but you're not required to do that if you do fuel it up under a certain amount you get some extra minutes as well as a kind of a courtesy thank you oh that's so, really cool yeah and always a smart car right I mean, always a smart car yeah that's, that's, right. that's pretty cool and always uh white and blue Always the white and blue, those are our signature colors. No, it's, it's cool because I think people are starting to recognize them more. And like, for example, my friends from Chile were very excited. Like, they wanted to bring you back to Chile. But they I, should. I think, uh, you're in many countries too, right? Yes, yeah. yes, we're all over um, Europe right now. Yeah. We're in um, Germany and, uh, well, we're in, I think, Birmingham and yeah. um, London. And yeah, South America probably is a little bit back behind that schedule, but I'm sure it's going to come we there would because love, it's a great concept. Yes, we're always looking for different cities that would be a great fit for car right. to go. Well, so. thank you very much for your time and the information and congratulations, and maybe next year you come on. We will see what thirty two thousand maybe. Yeah, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Esa fue Margaret Hake, eh, portavoz de la compañía Car2Go, que como dijo ella, anunció aquí en Miami 
eh, la expansión de sus operaciones, ya tienen 16 mil miembros, tienen 10 ciudades en Norteamérica y un concepto que realmente es muy interesante para todos los que no quieren eh, tener eh, comprar un auto, no quieren alquilar uno full time y lo pueden tener así para su consideración. Así que car to go aquí en Miami en 10 ciudades en Norteamérica, en Estados Unidos y en Canadá. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 vamos a hablar del debut de la nueva Toyota Tundra 2014, la pickup truck que está tratando de competir con los grandes de Detroit. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Moto.